Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fortnite Save the World video. Broadside Trap, one of the best wall traps in the game right now, but, unfortunately, a lot of people use it wrong. Like have you ever joined a mission and saw this, or this? Which is totally wrong. I don't know why or who started this idea, but I always see people use this trap like this, even in 160 zones. And don't get me wrong, this trap is very good, because I don't want people think I'm saying it's bad, it's not, it's my second favorite trap after wall darts. But what I mean is, people just use it wrong. And when I tell someone that they are using it wrong, they start yelling over and over about its good damage and range. I know, but the thing is, it's almost useless to cover open areas or long range areas. So in this video, I will show you why, plus I will explain everything you need to know in details so anyone can understand how this trap works. Like where to use it, how to use it, best perks, should you supercharge it, and more. But before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are enjoying the content, helps me a lot. And you can join the channel and become a member too. And without further ado, let's get started. I want to clear one common confusion first. A lot of people think that this trap has only one tile range, but it has three, just like the wall darts. I thought that too before. But let me show you. You see? I missed it in the last video and said only the wall darts has three tiles range, but broadside trap has three tiles range too. And to show you why it is useless in open areas, I need to show you this first. Notice how the cannon balls move. They keep bouncing over and over between these two walls dealing a massive damage to anything passing through. This works for a trap facing an empty wall, or a wall with other traps like sound wall trap. And two broadside traps facing each other's will be the maximum damage possible of course. Now let's test it in an open area. You see, the cannonballs go randomly and some of them don't hit the target. And it will take some time to reload again. And in that case the wall darts trap will be better, open areas I need. If you want to know more about the wall darts trap and how to use it form 3 tiles tunnels or open areas, check this video to know. So how to place your broadside traps to get the maximum damage possible. Just like I showed here, we need closed tunnels. But first, we all agree now that we need a wall facing this trap so the cannonballs can bounce inside. I will show you simple examples, then some cases from a fully built endurance. These are the most common ways to use this trap, work for endurance, normal missions and storm shield defenses. First one let's call it raw damage, when you need just damage. Place two traps facing each other's like this. For some missions and endurance, a lot of sploters will spawn, so you need sound wall traps to control them. Simply you can place a broadside on this wall, and sound walls trap facing it, still the damage will be very good. Because only damage tunnel against propanes can cause a lot of issues. That's why I always use sound wall traps at the entrance of tunnels for any endurance build I use. You might use it too with wall darts like this, when you need different reload time traps. And you can use a lot of combinations as you like. Like this one for example. All will work, just make sure there's a wall facing the trap. Now these are some examples from a built endurance. Mostly we use this trap for one tile long tunnels like this one. The damage in this tunnel will be insane. And with zappers, even level 400 smashers won't be able to base, and that's the beauty of broadside in one tile tunnels. And this is one of the most useful ways to trap ramps. I used broadsides facing sound walls to deal damage to the husk plus to control the sploters. Now for the best perks. As I always say, you can use any perks you like. But these are the best most used perks on this trap. These perks work for everything, endurance, ventures and normal missions. The element is locked to physical. Critical rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed and durability. You can use double critical rating and crit damage, but the reload time will be too long. Plus the damage is very good with the previous perks. Now should you supercharge it? Of course, damage traps always worth supercharging for more damage. Also, I see some people use the same trap for everything just because it's supercharged, which is not the best. For example, like I showed in this video, broadside trap is not the best for open areas. So 130 wall darts trap or even 106 will be better to cover open areas. Some missions need recycle traps not damage. And you don't need to supercharge most of recycle traps by the way. I will explain this later in this series. A lot to say about traps and how they work, but it will take a lot of time, but these are the most important information everyone should know about this trap. A lot of you asked me about this video and other videos and I didn't upload that much during last two months, sorry for that, been too busy. 
but I will try to upload them soon. Let me know in the comments which trap you want to see next. And that's it, don't forget to use code LARSIS in the item shop if you want to support me. This is a gameplay clip from Endurance using broadside traps. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, see you in the next one.